Welcome to Edgewater House. This episode is about installing footers and perimeter drains. We begin with the corners of the house staked by the surveyors and enough water to make the future basement feel more like a wading pool. Most of the water has now been pumped out and the crew starts assembling the framing for the footers. The excavator Sean Woods of Woods Home and Land left a flat bottom so the forms are placed directly on the ground and temporarily nailed together so their tops are flush. They are braced from below with metal banding and above with wooden straps. Three rows of 3 8 inch rebar are raised off the ground with bricks. The final step before pouring the concrete is to use a transit to make sure all the top of the forms are perfectly level. Concrete has been poured and the form stripped off. Those concrete pads in the middle are for lally columns. We've now got a perfectly level base for the foundation. The white pipes that you see here are the perimeter drains both inside and outside the foundation. The interior one will also be used for radon venting. Sean and his assistant, Isaac, work as a team to spread and compact 8 inches of stone across the inside of the footers. Before all the stone is spread, a geotextile fabric is placed underneath the exterior drain to keep it from getting clogged with silt. All the stone has now been spread and compacted. The exterior and interior perimeter drains are connected at two points around the foundation, and the black geotextile fabric surrounds the exterior drain. We just need to connect this drain to the city's stormwater system, which, conveniently, is just around the bend here. Ah, and here is Sean showing that he knows how to operate the business end of a hand shovel to make a flat bottom in the trench just about as well as he can that big Caterpillar 3115 excavator. The only way to ensure we have positive continuous drainage is to use a transit to check the slope of each section of pipe as it's installed. Wearing very fashionable high water boots, Sean and Isaac make the connection to the perimeter drain. And water begins to flow from the perimeter drain into the stormwater main before entering the river. Knowing that the perimeter drain is working, Sean and Isaac backfill the trench to the stormwater main. Isaac cuts one of three slots in the footer to bring in electrical power, telephone, and cable lines beneath the basement slab. That completes the footers, the perimeter drains with two cleanout points, and crushed stone for the basement slab. Next up, installing the foundation with Logic's ICF forms. Join us for more at www.edgewaterhouse.com.